Hello my viewers. I want to talk to you about energy efficiency versus cost effectiveness. And uh, this is something I've been thinking about for quite a while, mainly because I deal with the commercial end of the uh, HVAC industry where I can see where uh, some things are truly cost efficient and some things that the manufacturer uh, says it's cost efficient and really isn't uh, because first of all the the problem is I mean it may be energy efficient but in the long run at the end of the day you're shelling out more money to keep that air conditioner running because it's probably going to break down on you probably even before the warranty is up and um, of course there goes your cost effectiveness right there so if you're trying to save money uh, think about cost effectiveness rather than energy efficiency I'm going to give you an example uh, that could be used, say, in the residential air conditioning uh, industry. Is just about all new air conditioning systems today uh, comes with a variable speed blower motor, and I don't know what it is, but they have a problem making a cost-efficient uh, blower motor these days. I I mean, they really, the manufacturers need to do some work on that. I know that if I had a variable speed blower motor in my air conditioning system and it went out, um, more than likely I would not pay the $600 that it would take to buy a new one and spend the, you know, maybe uh, $100 and buy a PSC motor having to pay a lot more money for uh, a replacement part for some expensive air conditioning system to me makes it a lot less cost effective in the long run maybe not even that long uh, it just sort of depends on what luck you have with your variable speed blower motors there's just so much unreliable technology out there it's difficult to determine if the product is cost effective or simply energy efficient for when it does run. The only reason I can think that you'd really want to replace an expensive part uh, with an expensive part rather than a less expensive part would be if you really need that energy efficiency like if you have an off-grid uh, solar system or, or wind system or something like that that you're kind of keeping an eye on your uh, amp hour usage so I mean my opinion anyway my humble opinion is what I do okay what I would do is I would think more along the lines of cost effectiveness rather than energy efficiency and I know that's going to go against some people's grain, you might say, for me to say that. But if you've been in the trade for a while and you've seen some of the things that I've seen, then uh, you might have a similar view as I do. I mean, when, when for example, uh, uh, you might have an extremely energy efficient uh, chill water system okay but then when it comes time to replace something as simple as a small uh, like 1 kW heat strip okay and it costs say $600 for a restring kit then you have to think twice about that energy efficiency versus cost effectiveness like I said that's my humble opinion many of you are gonna think a lot differently about that um, now I 
there may be some very good energy efficient systems out there in the market and I would really like to know which ones you think lasts uh, at the very least up to the warranty time because uh, I mean I, a lot of people I talk to a lot of techs out there they're they're finding that uh, the equipment like well we'll say some of the lower end equipment that claims to be energy efficient and has um, variable speed blower motors in them that they're not lasting not even up to the warranty expiration date 